Welcome to another demonstration of the virtual scribe. Here we will demonstrate again how we write in a Word document using our normal handwriting to get the job done. So here we go. Let me zoom in a bit. We have got the Word document open already and you can see the cursor right over here again so I'll quickly just write something um, but first before I go on to that let's start increasing the font size so that you can see it a bit better what I'm writing and uh, that is how we will approach our thing let me change this also to another font size and sorry another font type and the font size is already done so I will start writing just as we are used to hello world I didn't like how it looks so I'll just remove it and write again is it big enough actually so let me increase or zoom in a bit more see if it will be a bit sharper so let's go again oh you can see what I'm writing so I will remove it I'll write in a place where you can see what I'm writing hello world that is it as we see but we can also just like a normal paper and pen the way I write the way it will disappear uh, appear, we can also choose for it to write actually at the cursor position and that's what I'll be doing now like hello world oh, let me let me put the word a bit on better that's it hello world let me make an enter and try how are you I can write basically anywhere I want actually as you can see I can write here test I can write here what and here are my R didn't come well because I didn't write well so I will write here R U and it will just appear normally everywhere I want let me make another drawing of an so called heart again the famous heart there it is or let's draw a house in here that's it and what else can we do let's draw a flower or something like that that's it and continue writing in text so to do that, if I want to continue writing in text, I can just choose to do so as well. So that means I don't need to do anything. I'll just start writing in my normal handwriting. Let me enter here. And I can write again, hello, will. And it will just appear in text whilst I use my handwriting to write let me enter again I am Joe lamb Joe <laughs> that's not what I want to write I said I am Joe right I don't know why he thinks I'm writing the L. Maybe my handwriting looks like an L. What is this? The I. M. 
Joe. Wow. Amazing. You see that? So this is a small demo. I can go back into handwriting, put my signature on this, that I really did it. That's my hand handwriting, sorry, my signature. I've been speaking Dutch in between, so don't mind me. But that's my signature and I can sign it with my name. And let me put the company's name here as well. Who is supplying this device Asante is technology and solutions that's it so as you see I can write handwriting and text how I want it using my normal handwriting to do this I can save it as well. So let's go on and save it. Fail. Oh, I clicked on the wrong icon. I think I'm opening something now, which I don't want to do. I want to save something, right? So let's close it and go to Fail. Save us. I'll just save it here. And it's called Hello World, but I can decide also to write actually. Uh, test test for you no, test for let me I want to write YouTube actually text for let me make a space there YouTube and then let's save it now I've saved my file, I didn't need to type anything. I can close it and open it again. So let's do just that. I've closed my Word document. Let's go back to open it. Over here, a Word document. Let's open Word actually. Oh no, let's go to the file where I save it in my documents. To open and let's look for the my to the file I saved it on. And as we can see, it's it's there. Can we read it? Is this one for YouTube, right? So let's double click it and open it. And see if it will return my handwritten text back again. And as we see, it just returned my handwritten text just like that. So I'll be closing with this one for now so everybody bye for now